Did you know? In recent weeks, I have visited the dentist several times. Thankfully, my dentist is nothing like this. My dentist is Nigel, and Nigel is lovely. But there was only so much Nigel could do about my toothache. Aggravated nerves in my jaw that simply wouldn't stop hurting, keeping me awake all night for several days. Naturally, during this time, my mind wandered, and I couldn't help but think about all those people who had toothache in the past. Back in 2013, I made a video all about dentistry throughout time, and I'll put a link to it at the end of this video. But in particular, toothache was first recorded by the Sumerians around 5000 BC. A story called The Legend of the Worm was written on a cuneiform tablet. This story outlined the belief that toothache was caused by the tooth worm. Supposedly, it ate blood and drank teeth, causing excruciating pain. This belief persisted until the 1700s. Dentists would attempt to coax the worm out of teeth using sweet milk or exploratory surgery. Today, thankfully, it is understood that a cavity contains no worms, and a good course of treatment is to fill the cavity. This is the very epitome, you might think, of modern dentistry. However, that's not the case. Earlier this year, it was announced that archaeologists in northern Italy had recovered teeth that had been subject to fillings. What set this apart from other discoveries of prehistoric dentistry was that this was from a time before farming. These 13,000-year-old teeth were from the end of the Ice Age, when people were still hunting and gathering. This was thousands of years before farming, which saw the systematic production of coarse, tough cereals and sweet foods like honey that led to a dramatic increase in dental problems in the human population. These pre-agricultural teeth were drilled with a tiny stone tool and then filled with a combination of hair, plant fibres and bitumen, probably to act as an antiseptic and to keep food out of the tooth. This is much more advanced than most people give our prehistoric ancestors credit for. People often ask me if I could travel in time, where would I go? Or when would I go? And my answer is always, I wouldn't. <laughs> At least not without a substantial medical backup team. I mean, can you imagine being stuck in the Middle Ages with a toothache? Exactly. Never mind having a broken leg or getting an infection. My hat comes off to those millions of humans who have survived our medical history, but I wouldn't want to relive it. And crucially, I never thought I'd say it, but I really do love my dentist. Here's to Nigel. Thank you. 